Hi everyone, this is Julianne Victoria of Through the Peacock Eyes. I'm here to announce my third deck creation, which is very exciting. It's actually a children's tarot deck. It is a major arcana only deck, which I think 22 cards is plenty for children. And I would say kids age three and up could use the deck, um, but I have been testing it out on my toddler and I'll show you how well she has been working at wearing out the cards. So let's start with the deck. Well, let me show you the book. So I, I created a guidebook and coloring book. Um, so this is the Spiral Bound Children's Tarot for the Young and the Young at Heart. Um, I do have, there is also a paperback normal bound one. You won't have the proof line there, of course, on your copy. Um, and then I also created a coloring book only with just the coloring book pages if you need extra pages or you have a really young child that you're getting the deck for and they're not reading yet that would be a great option for you um but let me just show you the book since i started with that so there's a little page about what is tarot um a little bit a little sort of instructional about using the children's tarot um, and I talk about one and three card spreads. And then each card has a little page with a short description of the card, some keywords and a quote. So for the full card, which I renamed as possibilities, and I did rename the cards to make them more applicable to children's lives. Um, the quote is, nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. And that's an Audrey Hepburn quote. So that's the layout for each of the cards. And then we have the coloring book page, the line drawing for each of the cards. So that's the layout of the guidebook and coloring book. So let's look at the cards. So it comes in a plastic box, which is more durable and waterproof um, for children because they're going to they're going to give their decks a little more abuse than adults will, right? So that is the, that's what the backs are, is the peacock feathers. So I'll show you the cards. Um, so this is the back, the peacock feather. And then there's, of course, a title card. And then in with the deck, because some people might buy the deck and not buy the guidebook and coloring book, um, there are a couple of little instructional cards, sort of a little summary of the instructions in the book. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I watermark the cards. So they have images, watermark images of some of the cards on these extra cards. And then I put in cards for the keywords. And again, that's so if, if you know, someone buys their child this deck and they don't want to buy the coloring book and guidebook, they have that there. And then of course, just the information card. So those are the extra cards that come with it. So let's do a full little walkthrough of the deck. So they're bridge size cards, I should mention. So small cards for small hands. Um, and most Lenormand decks are bridge size. So it's not too small for, you know, if you want to buy this for a 12, 14 year old. So we have possibilities. Learning. Imagination. Mother, father, teacher, choices, movement, oops, patience, intuition. Karma, truth, acceptance, change. The cards are flopping because they're plastic, so I'll talk about that. Harmony, courage, rebuilding. I think this is my favorite card, the tower, right? Wishes, dreams, joy, awareness, 
and oneness. So as I mentioned, the cards are made of plastic and that's so they're more durable, they're waterproof, they can't be destroyed as easily. And that's more for like the younger kids who might get them and drop, put them in their backpack and drop it in a puddle on the way to school or their friends get it and they fight, you know, whatever kids might do. So they are plastic, which makes them bendable. They do shuffle nicely for kids who can riffle, riffle shuffle. And I'll just show you how well of abuse they can take. So I gave some of the cards, so I have an extra set for her. I gave some of them, these are just the title cards um, and the keyword cards for her to play with. She is 18 months old. I don't expect 18 months old, old 18 month olds to be getting the deck, but she spent a month chewing on these, crumpling them up, abusing them, um, doing my quality control for me so I could show you. So after a month of biting them, you can see some teeth marks. She's even like folded them in half and then you can straighten them out if you bend them. This is what an abused card looks like after a month of an 18 month old chewing and destroying them. So I figure that's probably the worst abuse <laughs> some paper cards might get. So I would say these held up really well considering. And just for comparison, I gave her an extra card from my Oracle of the Fool deck yesterday. And within two hours, she did this. Torn, chewed up, bent. And these withstood a month of toddler chewing and abusing. So there's the quality control. I'm really happy with that. Um, the plastic card should hold up really well. Nice and bendy. Waterproof so they won't, you know, they won't tear and disintegrate. If a kid spills their milk on it or whatever happens. Um, so there you go. That is my third deck, the Children's Tarot. I'll have all the links below if you're interested in checking out more of it. The website is childrenstarot.com, so it's easy to remember. Um, again, there's a spiral, a spiral bound glossy covered <laughs> guidebook and coloring book. Then you also have the option for just the regular paperback guidebook and coloring book and a coloring book only that's spiral bound and really it's just the coloring book pages. Um, for extra coloring pages if you need them or for children who, you know, three, four, five-year-olds who aren't yet reading, but you want to get them the coloring book. All right, everyone, check out my deck. If you have kids, I think they'd love it. Um, it's a project, again, it's another one that I've been working on for a long time. I actually wrote the guidebook, I think, five or six years ago. I went through two rounds of artwork. It was going to end up being an animal deck. I changed my mind. And this is the, the grand result. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Share this with anyone whom you think might want to get a tarot deck that's applicable and relatable to the everyday life of children. Otherwise, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and I'll see you back here soon.